In this video, we'll see how to configure the IPv4 and IPv6 routing using the EHRP name mode. And also we'll try to compare the configurations with the classic mode and EHRP name mode. Now in case of EHRP classic mode, uh, we use a normal EHRP a, router EHRP 100, we need to define the autonomous system number and then we, we just advertise the network, network ID with a wildcard mask and then or you can just use network command so it is going to advertise with the default to advertise the network with the default subnet mask. Now the same thing we do in IP version in, in the case of EHRP name mode as well. Now the thing is here we need to define router EHRP and we need to define some instance name. In case of EHRP name mode, all the configurations relating to IPv4 or it can be IPv6 or it can be VRF related, which we use in MPLS kind of implementations. All those configurations comes under a single routing instance and we need to define with some name. Now here I'm using a name of CCIE. And then we need to get into the respective address families. The, if you if you're going to configure something on IPv4, we need to say address family IPv4 and then we are going to define the autonomous system number here. Now in order to form the neighborship, they must match the same autonomous system number. Now it's it's same like this. But the thing is we are not defining inside the router mode. We need to define under the address family IPv4 unicast autonomous system 100. Now similar way we can also configure on the same router address family IPv4 with autonomous system 200 and the configuration relating to autonomous system 200. In the same way, on the same router, we can have multiple autonomous systems configured under the same instance. Now, similar way, we can also configure the same IPv6 configurations also by just replacing the command with IPv6 and all the IPv6 related commands will come under this address family. So the first thing we need to get into the address family before we actually command the network commands or any, any command relating to specific EHRP. And then the network commands are exactly the same, but they but they don't come in a normal router mode. They come under the address family mode. Now, similar way, when you compare with IPv6 configurations, now IPv6 normal in the classic mode, we need to define no, no shutdown and EHRP router ID with these commands. And then to advertise the interfaces, we need to enable the protocol under the interface. We need to go to each and every interface to enable the IPv6 EHRP but whereas in case of IPv6 configurations in EHRP name mode, the first thing we need to enable IPv6 unicast routing. And then we go to the router EHRP instance here, just like uh, we did in a normal mode. Uh, in the previous mode, we need to say address family IPv6. And then by default, once you add this command, automatically it is going to enable IPv6 automatically on all the interfaces. Now, which means we don't need to go to each and every interface, enable the IPv6 EHRP on the interfaces. So once you add this command address family IPv6 autonomous system 100, it's going to enable on all the interfaces. And if you want to disable on specific interface, let's say I got a router one, which is having three interfaces, S0 by zero, S0 by zero. Let me take an example. I got three interfaces here. F0 by 0, F0 by 0 and, and F0 by 1. So I want to enable IPv6 only on these two interfaces but not on the third interface. Now in that case I can go to this interface S0 by 0. I can simply say shut down. Now in order to go to that specific interface not on the global configuration mode we need to say AF interface the command will be something like this AF interface and then we need to say shut down. Shut down the EHRP on that particular interface. And if you, or even we can do something like this. Let's say if you have uh, multiple interfaces, I got three interfaces and I want to enable, let's say there are four interfaces. I want to enable EHRP only on this one interface, but not on the remaining three interfaces. In that case, I can go to AF interface default and I can give shutdown, which means it is going to disable IPv6 EHRP on all the interfaces and I can go to that specific interface, I can say no shutdown. So no shutdown will no shutdown will enable the protocol on that particular interface. Now in case of classic mode, you must give no shutdown command globally to enable uh, EHRP that is mandatory. But whereas 
in case of class in case of name mode it's not really mandatory we we go under the interface to disable that and we need to mandatory go to each and every interface to enable the ipv6 but here it is by default enabled on each and every interface and we can disable it globally so let's get into the command line for verifying these configurations i got a small lab here documented with with three routers probably i'll be using router 1 router 2 router 3 and on the router 1 and router 2 i'm going to use the name mode configurations between them so i got a 15 dot ios versions and i'm using a name mode between router 1 and router 2 for both ip version 4 and ip version 6 and the instance name i'm going to use cci and even if you're using a name mode you can still have a backward compatibility with a classic mode where on the router 4 i'm going to use a classic ehrp and I want to ensure that the router one should be working with name mode configuration as well as the classic mode. And I'm going to do the same configurations for both IP version four and IP version six. Now in this lab, the IP addressing is pre-configured for both IP version four and IP version six. Now the first thing I'll start with IPv4 and the IP, IPv4 addressing is pre-configured as per my diagram. So on the router one, I decided to use name mode so i'll say router ehrp now either i can define the autonomous system number which is a classic mode i'm going to define some name and then we need to say address family now address family we can define either ipv4 or ipv6 now here any ipv4 related commands we need to define under the ipv4 and then we say uh, unicast or we can directly say autonomous system number and 100 now, once we are under the autonomous system 100, now it means that we want to advertise this router one in the EHRP 100. And then we need to enable the interfaces like 1.1.1.1. And then I'm also advertising the tender network, which is in the LAN on the router one. Done. Let's do the same thing on the router two as well. On the router two, also I'll do the same thing, router EHRP. Uh, instance name now instance name is something locally significant and then address family ipv4 autonomous system number 100 the ace number has to match on both the sites and then i'm saying 1.1.1.2 the one interface which is connecting between router 1 and router 2 here and then advertising the 20 dollar network in the lan now you can see the neighborship adjacency has been established and the verification commands are same show ip ehrp neighbors and if I verify show IP HRP interfaces, now I can see the interfaces are up. Now these are the interfaces where IPv6 is enabled, sorry, IPv4 routing is enabled. And then if I verify show IP route EHRP, I should be able to see tender network route coming into my routing table. And there are some other show commands we can use like uh, we can use show IP protocols if you want to verify. Let's say show IP protocols. I can see uh, there's a metric wide supported here. K6 is also supported in the EHRP metric, wider metric. And the router ID concept is exactly the same as OSPF here. And then here, you can see the administrative distance is also same. And the metric version is 64 bit instead of 32 bit. Now EHRP uh, name mode supports some wider metric uh, which is a 64 bit than 32 bit which was in the classic mode. Now if you want to verify and one more thing you need to know here if you are configuring EHRP in the name mode by default it is going to disable the auto summary so there is no need to give no auto summary command. If you are using classic mode by default it will do auto summary so we can disable that by using no auto summary command. Okay, so let's do the same thing for IP version 6 also. Now I got the same diagram, but the only difference is I, I just changed the IP addresses. Now here the IP addressing is pre-configured here. So I'm going to configure between router 1 and router 2 EHRP using name mode. So we don't need to create any separate instance. We can use the same instance, but we need to go to address family IPv6 and then we need to define the autonomous system number 100. So before I do this, I need to enable IPv6 unicast routing and then I need to go to router EHRP and then give the command address family IPv6 autonomous system 100. And the next thing is 
Once I enable this command, if you verify show IPv6 EHRP interfaces, now you can see here by default IPv6 is enabled on all these interfaces. Now if you want to disable any specific interface, we can say address family, uh, address family interface default and I can say shutdown. So once I share shutdown here, once I give the command called shutdown now, you can see EHRP is not enabled on any one of these interfaces. So in case if you have a scenario where you want to enable only on selected interfaces, it's recommended to go with shutdown, A of interface default shutdown and then on the router one, I'm going to use the interface. I can simply exit, I can say interface S1 by zero. We can say no shutdown and then AF interface F0 by zero, I can say no shutdown. So now if I verify show IPv6 EHRP interfaces, now this particular IPv6 EHRP name mode configuration is only done on S1 by zero and F0 by zero. Why? Because I have disabled on globally. So let's verify the configurations one more time. So if I give show run section EHRP, I should be able to see the configurations. Now here you can see, this is address family IPv6 configurations and I'm giving a command called AF interface default. It's going to disable globally on all the interfaces and I'm enabling on only interfaces, AF interface S1 by zero and the other interface I'm using F0 by zero. Now let's do the same thing on the router 2 as well. On the router 2 also, I'm going to say router EHRP CCI and then address family IPv6 autonomous system 100. So before that, I need to say IPv6 unicast routing and then address family IPv6. Now I'm going to say AF interface default. I'll try to shut down. That's something I do generally. And then I'm going to enable only on the interface S1 by zero in my scenario and F0 by zero, no shutdown. So if I verify show IP EHRP interfaces, IPv6 EHRP interfaces, I should see IPv6 has to be enabled on S1 by zero and F0 by zero. Let me enable it. I think I missed that interface. Address family IPv6, autonomous system number 100. And then I need to say AF interface as F0 by zero. I need to say no shutdown command. So if I can show IPv6 EHRP interfaces, I can see F0 by zero and S1 by zero, both interfaces are enabled with IPv6. So I should see the neighborship between them. Show IPv6 EHRP neighbors, same like, IP, same commands. This command is same. I can see the link local address of the neighbor and the neighborship is up. And if you verify the routes, show IP route, IPv6 route EHRP, you can see the route coming from the router one and you can, you can, you can also ping to that particular LAN interface. So uh, one more thing what we'll do is we'll get back to the topology here. We can also run a combination of name mode. Let's say there is a router which is running a name mode configurations and maybe you're running some older router, maybe 12.4 iOS versions. And by default in this, in this iOS versions, we, we must run classic mode. So it's still backward compatible. It still runs fine. Still they form the neighborship, still they exchange the routes. So that's something what we are going to do now. I'm going to configure on the router four. I got one more router, which is uh, running 12 dot iOS versions. So I want to configure. In fact, this is my, um, my 15 dot iOS version. Still it supports the older configuration and the new configuration as well. I'm going with the older configuration. So I'll go router EHRP 100. Uh, but one more thing, once we enable, uh, let's say I'm going to run router EHRP. And then if I give router EHRP 100, let me disable it. So let's go to router one first. I'll try to run router EHRP 100. So normally once we enable the name mode, it, it's not going to accept the uh, classic configurations. But here I actually configured that, so not a problem. So I'll remove it. No router EHRP CCI. So I'm going to configure the classic mode here, router EHRP 100, no auto summary, because in the classic mode you have to disable the auto summary. And then I'm going to advertise my LAN interface, 40 dot network. And then I'm going to advertise 4 dot network, the WAN interface. And if I verify show IP EHRP interfaces, 
show IP HRP interfaces. Let me check the configurations. Okay. So we just configured the router EHRP 100 and advertising the 40 row network in the LAN and 4 row network in the WAN. So the same thing we'll do on the router one. On the router one, let me just quickly configure both actually. So I'm going to configure IPv6 as well, both at the same time. So in case of classic mode, we need to say IPv6 unicast routing. And then we need to say IPv6 router EHRP 100. And then we need to say, sorry, it has to be 100. So let me use 100 here because I'm using 100 over there. No shutdown. And we can also define the router ID here, which is optional again. Uh, we can define the router as 4.4.4.4. And then we need to enable on the interface S1 by 0 IPv6 EHRP 100 and interface F0 by 0 IPv6 EHRP 100. So if I verify show IP EHRP interfaces right now, it's not showing anything. So show IP EHRP neighbors also, you don't see anything because we, we, we don't have uh, EHRP running on the other side. Let's go to router one and configure EHRP. So router EHRP CCI, and then I'm going to enable both autonomous system 100, advertising the four door network, and the LAN interface is already advertised on router 1. And I'm going to say address family IPv6 autonomous system 100. And on the IPv6, we need to enable S1 by 0 interface. So AF interface S1 by 0. I need to say no shutdown. Because on the router 1, I have given a command AF interface. D, uh, on, the, on the global interface mode, I have shut down the inter shutdown command. So probably we need to say no shutdown. So on the router one, if I verify the commands, I think I have configured on the wrong interface. Let me check S1 by zero. So it's not S1 by zero, actually it is S1 by one. So it has to be S1 by one as per my topology, it's S1 by one here. So let's go to router EHRP CCI. Address family IPv6 autonomous system 100. We need to say AF interface S1 by 1 and we say no shutdown command. Now the problem for not forming the neighborship actually the interface was in shutdown state. I, I didn't give no shutdown here so I'm using S1 by 1 here. I need to enable this interface to no shutdown. That's the reason and also my F0 by 0 interface was in shutdown state. So I need to give no shutdown command. So now that's the reason if I if, if you verify, you know, when I was using show IP v6 EHRP interfaces or show IP EHRP interfaces, it was not showing my interfaces. That was the reason. Now I should see the neighborship has to be up between router four and router one. If everything is okay, let me verify the interfaces. My F0 by zero interface is up and S1 by one into up. And I can see the neighbor adjacency has been established for both IPv4 and IPv6. So if I verify show IPv6 EHRP neighbors for verifying the neighbors on the router 4 and also I can verify show IP EHRP neighbors and if I go to router 1 and if I verify show IP route EHRP I should be able to see the route coming from router 4 and also I should be able to see the route coming from router 4 for IPv6. Uh, similar way if I give show IP route EHRP, you can see the route coming here. I can see the metric if you're using classic metric, it still uses the 32 bit metric, 32 bit metric cost. But whereas if you're using show IP route EHRP, the metric calculation will be different. But still it is backward compatible, it works fine. So this is how we can configure IPv4 and IPv6 routing. Now in the production network, probably you can either come across scenario where you might be running both, both the name modes, it's going to still work but you can have still IPv4 and IPv6 routing configured between a classic mode and the new name mode configurations.